Okay, I know I'm late to the party, but let's go ahead and discuss the Lake City ammo thing where there is a bunch of anti-gun attorney generals from states like New York that are trying to pressure the Biden administration to cut off sales to civilians. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up Wolverines? Welcome back to the channel. I'm a little bit late to the party, but I've been working on stuff for my day job. And I know that's a bummer that I have a day job, but we have to pay the bill somehow, right? Okay, guys, my name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist and I am also a YouTuber. And this is my YouTube channel, John Crump News, where we discuss 2A issues. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. I'm very, very close to 50,000 subs and that is just amazing to me okay so let's go ahead and talk about lake city ammunition if you do not know what the lake city ammunition plant is it is the plant that produces rounds for the u.s military specifically it makes 556 five, rounds that is the round that are used in m4s and also ar-15s it is currently ran by winchester and not only do they produce ammunition for the U.S. military, but they also sell the excess to the civilian population, which is the way it should be because our taxpayer money is funding that ammunition. But there is a bunch of anti-gun attorney generals led by New York Attorney General Loretta James, who has never met a gun law that she has not liked unless it made it less prohibited than she didn't like that. She was joined by AGs from 19 other locations such as DC, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, and a bunch of other anti-gun states. What they want is the Biden administration to go ahead and review the contracts of Lake City ammunition to prevent the ammunition from falling into the hands of citizens. They call it military grade ammo, even though ammo is not really military grade or not military grade, ammo is just ammo. But they are going to use that terminology to try to scare the president, which he doesn't need much scaring, into cutting off the sale to civilians, which is a bad thing. They list a bunch of mass shootings such as Buffalo, Parkland, the Tree of Life Synagogue, and also Uvalde as a place that Lake City Ammo was used. And what they're trying to do is pull on the heartstrings and say, hey, we need to ban this because this is the ammunition of choice of mass shooters, even though that could not be further from the truth. What they want is for the Biden administration to release the report to the public of how they're going to cut off the sales to civilians, and they want any contracts in the future to expressly prohibit the sell to civilians. Now, if you do not know, one of the benefits of getting the Lake City contract is that you can sell to civilians. That offsets the cost. So not only would this be an infringement on our rights because it cuts down on one place that we get ammunition from, but it will also definitely increase the cost to taxpayers because these companies will not be able to subsidize their pr production of military ammunition by selling to civilians. So not only would this be a bad thing for our rights, it would be a bad thing for our pocketbooks because that would mean that we would have to spend more tax money on producing ammunition, which is definitely not a good thing. So no good can come of this. And it just goes to show you that the anti-gunners that control a lot of the states are definitely out for our ammunition. They've tried to take our firearms and that hasn't worked out too well for them. So now they're coming after the ammunition because what good is a firearm if you cannot feed it with any freedom seeds? Look, I know their playbook. This is their playbook. They try to come after the guns. That doesn't work. They go after the gun stores. 
and the gun manufacturers by suing them to try to make it so the cost of business is so high that they cannot exist. Now, if that doesn't work, they go after the ammunition because what good is a firearm without ammunition? It is crazy that they say that there is four mass shootings that Lake City ammo was used in. They even admit that Lake City has sold billions around to the civilian population and less than 100 have been used in crime, which is a fraction of a percent of ammunition sold. It is so insignificant that it's even hard to even write a decimal place for it. So what will they do? I think the Biden administration will be open to their suggestions. I'm pretty sure he knew it was coming and they probably actually worked on it together. About a month ago, a bunch of articles was posted in the legacy media about Lake City ammunition. All these reporters came to these conclusions all by themselves, which I do not agree. What happens a lot of times is people will give information to reporters and ask them to write a story about it. It happens on both sides. I've been given documents by people in power and say, hey, maybe you should look into this. Now, I always do my own research, but a lot of people in the legacy media don't do that and just write articles based on what they are told by the people in power. They basically act as a propaganda wing for the Democratic Party, or in this case, the anti-gun legislators and attorney generals around the country. And I can see why they do it. It's easy because all the documentation is right there. All the information is right there. All you need to do is summarize it. So you take 45 minutes, you summarize it, and boom, you crank out an article. It's not very ethical, but they do do it. I always do my own research on everything, and I will always advocate that both sides do their own research and just don't go with the narrative that is handed to you on a silver platter. But that's what a lot of places do, such as the New York Times. Anyways, I'm working on a few other stories, including the ATF admitting something by accident, and I'm sure where they admitted it will probably be deleted if it's not already deleted now. I'm working on that story, and I get several other stories I am working on as well as doing my day job. Maybe one day I'll be able to quit my day job and just be able to harass anti-gunners in the ATF full time, which would be fantastic. Speaking of that, there's tons of ways to support me down below. And you can always buy my book that is available on Amazon. It's right back there. Masters of Firepower. My kid who is 10 years old is actually writing a book and it's actually really, really good. It's better than mine. It's a fiction book and it's better than my books, which, hey, I'm a proud dad. What can I say? All right, guys. So that is it. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I am out of here. Wolverine's mother.